Thailand is my first international trip. In this video, I am going to tell you about the places I have visited in my trip. This is a detailed video about various places in Thailand, how to reach each place and what to do in those places. After watching this video, you will definitely get a good idea of geography of Thailand which will help you in planning your trip. I am going to share few tips and budget related details in between the video. So please watch this video without skipping. When people from India visit Thailand, I mean most of them, they just roam around Bangkok and Pattaya. Thailand is much more than Pattaya and beaches. It is almost as big as South India with many historical places, national parks and waterfalls. One such place is Erawan National Park. It is located in central part of Thailand, 200 km north to Bangkok. If you are visiting Thailand, don't miss this place. This should be the first place that you have to visit in Thailand. Erwan Falls is located in Erwan National Park near Kanchanaburi town. This waterfalls has received many awards in national attraction category. The Erwan Falls is 1500 meter long with total 7 waterfalls, all are safe and ideal places for swimming. So you can spend a whole day trekking inside this national park from one falls to other falls, taking refreshing dips in each of these falls. What makes Erwan Falls so popular is its picturesque emerald green clear waters. It is nowhere near being any of the biggest or widest falls in the country, but much more charming than most. You can reach this place from Kanchanaburi town via government bus or private cabs and this Kanchanaburi town is just 140 km from Bangkok. Now coming to stay options, most of the people stay in Kanchanaburi town which is 50 km away from falls and take bus or taxi to visit these falls. I suggest you to stay near waterfalls itself. There are so many resorts across the banks of river Kwai which are around 8 to 10 km from waterfalls. We stayed in KG Guest House, which is a very good resort with a stunning views of Kuei River and Hills. The advantage of staying near Kuei River is, almost all of these resorts which are along the banks of the Kuei River provide water activities like kayaking, fishing and rafting for free as part of the booking. And when you stay near waterfalls, you can visit the falls early and enjoy the beauty of crystal clear waters all alone. How to reach this place and Kanchanaburi town is what makes the second must do thing in Thailand. Now the second must do thing in my list is death railway journey. There is a death rail route in Thailand. It is a heritage rail route journeying from Bangkok railway station to Namtok railway station. In World War II, Japanese constructed this rail route from Bangkok to Burma using allied prisoners of war and other slave laborers. Over 1 lakh people died while constructing this route, hence the name called Death Railway Route. This journey starts at morning 7.20 from Bangkok and takes around 4 hour 30 minutes traveling past forests, rivers and beautiful Thai countryside. The main attraction of this trail journey is, the train passes over river Kuei Bridge which has very important place in World War II. While many passengers choose to just travel from Bangkok to Kanchanaburi for the famous bridge, it is worth continuing until the end point of journey in Amthok because train passes on the famous wooden viaduct bridge which was also built by prisoners of war. This train journey can be taken in two ways. One is to reach Kanchanaburi via bus from Bangkok and take this train journey as a part of one day trip from Kanchanaburi to Namtok railway station. So after getting down at Namtok railway station, you can visit the places like Sayok waterfalls and Hellfire Pass which are very near to the Namtok railway station. 
The other way is to start from Bangkok itself. We took the train journey from Bangkok and got down at Namthok railway station and from Namthok we took cab to KG house which is the resort we booked near Erawan waterfalls. So this trip to Erawan falls can be around 2 to 3 days where one day we can spend for waterfalls and one day for train journey and one day to visit places in Kanchanaburi town. So in Kanchanaburi you can visit places like Tiger Cave Temple, River Kuei Bridge, Sayog Waterfalls and Hellfire Pass which is an important historical place in Thailand. And there is also a Death Railway Museum which is very good place to know the history of this rail route and World War II. So don't miss Erwan Falls and this train journey. This whole journey is a mix of nature and history. The most important thing is the fun and joy of taking dips in this beautiful crystal clear Erwan Falls with fishes ready to give a foot massage is an experience one should not miss. The next place in my list is Phuket. Phuket is the biggest island of Thailand in Andaman Sea. It has beautiful beaches, nightclubs, Buddhist temples and elephant sanctuaries. You can easily spend 3 to 4 days in Phuket to visit at least 70% of the places in it. Many people reach Phuket from Bangkok via flight, but I suggest to book an overnight bus via 12goasia.com which is cheaper and comfortable. The bus journey is around 12 hours, you can just reach Phuket from Bangkok in a night journey. The main thing to do in Phuket is island hopping. Phuket has many islands near to it, so there are many day tours from Phuket via boat which take us to different set of islands. What is this island hopping is, you get into a boat in the early morning and visit 4-5 to five islands until evening. My favorite of this island hopping tour is James Bond Island Tour. Why because in this tour you will get to do lot of kayaking and adventure activities like dark cave kayaking, bat cave kayaking and kayaking in a beautiful lagoon. In this tour you can visit James Bond Island where 1974 James Bond film got shot. This tour is less crowded and you can have a relaxed island hopping. The other famous island hopping tour is Fifi Islands Tour. Fifi Islands are the most famous islands in Thailand. A tour to these islands will take you through 4 to 5 islands. The Maya Bay Beach is the main attraction of this island tour. This beach with white sand and clear water looks so beautiful and magical. The water in Fifi Islands are crystal clear and hence in this tour you can do snorkeling also. This tour is very popular and the crowd will be more which is the only native thing of this trip. Along with James Bond Island and Fifi tour, there are few more other island hopping tours which give a different unique experience. So when you visit Phuket, island hopping is a must and I suggest you to go for James Bond Island and Fifi tour. Now regarding how much it costs, as of November 2023, the cost of each tour varies from 1500 to 3000 baht. You can book this in advance or you can book it in Phuket itself. If you go to Phuket and bargain there, you will get it for half rate to what you see in TripAdvisor, Viator and other websites. Make sure you go through reviews and book a good operator so that you can have a pleasant and peaceful tour. My suggestion for this tour is Travelist.com. Even though they charge 300 to 500 bahts extra if you compare this with other tour operators, but the team and management are so professional, you will not regret booking with the company. I booked James Bond Island for 1950 bahts for each person, Fifi Tour for 1400 bahts per each person. So don't spend more than 2000 baht per person for this island hopping tour. You will get many options in 1400 to 2000 baht range, bargain, read reviews and book it. Now coming to the list of things to do in Phuket. Phuket has so many beaches and my suggestion for you is Freedom Beach. This beach is hidden between two hills making it a perfect place for a swim. We need to trek down for some 30 to 45 minutes to reach this beach 
and because of this reason this is the least crowded beach in entire phuket you can also visit karon kata and patong beaches which got some good water activities and private beach clubs along with beaches phuket has multiple hill view points from where you can see these beaches and beautiful sunsets my suggestion for these view points is cape from the view point which is the southernmost tip of phuket karon view point the speciality of this view point is you can see three beaches from here other than view points and beaches phuket is famous for its elephant sanctuaries we can spend half day to full day with elephants feeding them and giving a nice bath to them phuket has many other adventure activities like atv rides tiger parks etc If you want to explore the partying side of Phuket, don't miss to visit Illusion Club. It is the 13th largest club in the world and the entry is free. The best time to visit this club is post 10 pm where it gets packed. The sound system is nothing less than superb, giving a really out of world experience. The club is present in Bangla Road which is famous for its nightlife. So include Phuket in your itinerary instead of the usual Pattaya. You can do lot of things and can experience the best beaches and islands of Thailand. Now this Phuket is present in southern part of Thailand. So if you have one two days extra you can also visit Krabi which is 3 hours away from Phuket. There are buses available from Phuket to Krabi and from Krabi you can either take flight to Bangkok or you can take a bus journey from krabi to bangkok krabi has many attractions like hot springs sea caves limestone cliffs where you can do rock climbing you can also do island hopping tours from krabi we have not visited krabi due to time constraints if you have extra one to two days then include krabi in your itinerary so now we have covered southern thailand and central part where kanchanaburi and erawan falls are located coming to the northern part of thailand you can visit chiang mai which is the second largest city in thailand from bangkok trains are available which takes around 12 hours you can book them via twelgoasia.com chiang mai is famous for mountain tours elephant sanctuaries and temples if you want to experience the mountain tours and cool weather of thailand then you can include chiang mai for two days in your trip along with the places i have mentioned so far you can also spend one to two days in bangkok bangkok has many places to visit My must visit places list is Chetu Chak Weekend Market. This market is open in only weekends and this is the Asia's largest weekend market. Here you can get good quality clothes for very cheap price like 100 bahts. Safari World. This is a very good place for a day trip. You can see dolphin shows, chimpanzee shows and elephant shows here and along with these shows you can also have jeep safari. Reclining Buddha Temple. Bangkok has many Buddha temples and all are worth a visit. But the must visit temple is Reclining Buddha Temple, which has Buddha statue in reclining posture. It is a very big temple with great architecture. Ayutthaya Town. It is located 90 kilometers from Bangkok, from the beautiful temples to delicious local food. It is a perfect destination for a day trip. We have spent 4 days in Kanchanaburi, 4 days in Bangkok, where 2 days we spent for shopping in Chetu Chak Weekend Market and Prathunam Night Market and 4 days in Phuket. So in our 12 day trip to Thailand, we covered Bangkok, Kanchanaburi and Phuket. If you plan it properly, you can cover Krabi also. Now coming to the tips that I felt one should know. Install Clue Cap where you will find all activities and entry tickets at cheaper price and you can compare the price with the clue app and bargain with the dealers install in drive app which is cheaper compared to bolt and grab taxi apps so use in drive app in phuket to visit different places
Instead of booking flights between Bangkok and Phuket, Chiang Mai and Krabi, book bus or train in Twelgo Asia website, which is very cheaper and comfortable also. It will save a lot of money for you. And don't plan four to five days or a week trip to Thailand unless and until you have no other way to get leaves. Plan a 10 to 14 day trip so you can cover most of the Thailand. If you are planning for a 10 to 14 day trip, it won't take more than 1.5 to 2 lakhs. So plan your budget. If it is going beyond 1.8 lakhs, then you are going wrong somewhere. I am going to make a detailed videos about each of these places that I have mentioned in this video. By the time you watch this video, those videos might have been released. So do check out my channel for more information about these places. I hope you got some useful information from this video. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thailand is a very beautiful country in Southeast Asia and it is very tourist friendly also. So go ahead and enjoy your trip to Thailand. I'll come back with another video about another place. Until then, happy traveling.